like a little weekend vlog we are gonna start our weekend with a cute little lunch and this is probably gonna be one of the last vlogtober vlogs i really hope that you've enjoyed it and that you're excited for vlogtober no vlogmas i'm sorry and um yeah i'm gonna show you my outfit Levi and i are matching and he looks so, so handsome you. thank Beautiful. you so as i said we are matching a little bit how cute do we look? Breaking it up with a little bit of jean. It would just look horrendous if he wore white pants. Because <laughs> <laughs> then we would be like opposites, opposites. But I think it looks really cute. What do you think? Let us know. Brent's top is from Cotton On. I don't know if we are in focus. Brent's top is from Cotton On. This is Cotton On. This is Zara. Yes. Your guess. My little sandals are from Zara and Brent's socks are. <laughs> what shoes are you gonna wear? This this no, color? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then I just need to grab my bag. I'm gonna wear my my big Louis today. I'm feeling way too low to start this night, but I wanna get to your bag. Last night you tried to make me massage that knee so yeah i'm like around the corner so we're gonna go to um sanctuary spa my favorite spa prepare to turn right please turn right we go up, i'm gonna have the best day today hello can i cross to a hello yes hello 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 hello
<laughs> I'm at McDonald's, not for me, <laughs> for Brain because he is probably starving. Brain's mom and I, I just dropped her off. Um, we had the most amazing, I would say brunch because it wasn't quite, it's like 12 so it's like brunch. Um, so yeah, we had like avocado on toast and like a little continental spread and fruit and tea and the massages. Oh, always amazing. So I did a lymphatic drainage and aromatherapy massage and then Brain's mom did a hot stone, which I've done before. Oh, both of them so good. I highly highly recommend sanctuary spa in sandton it's at the catalyst um hotel so we had um a little coffee and breakfast brunch at the hotel and now i'm at mcdonald's to pick up brain a little treat and then we're gonna get ready because we are gonna meet some leapies i'm so excited i actually picked up a cute little outfit for that yesterday i literally popped into zara so quickly saw an outfit picked it up and then we headed home so yeah i'm excited to put that on but i'm gonna freshen up take a shower once i've eventually ordered brain food because this drive-through oh it's a nightmare so i might just have to do my makeup in the car because i don't want to get there too late um but i think let me post a story and just like update the leafies and like what time i'm gonna be there i'm so excited to meet some of you like i love 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 it when oh i'm already getting a message from one leafy that asks what time are you going to mall of africa oh i'm so excited whenever you come up to me and say hi i know with corona and the pandemic it's a bit difficult uh with social social distancing and all of that but yeah it's just so nice to meet like everyone behind the comments i think i must actually go over the side can i go this side okay good morning um, can I please have one? Can't get enough of the weekend. How was your morning? Amazing. Thank you, Antonia. Mwah. I literally just like rinse the oil off of my body. I wish I didn't have to, but... I felt a little bit like slippery, especially in my shoes, but how cute. I can't wait to wear this today. I saw it yesterday at Zara and I just, I thought that this would pair so beautifully in so many different ways with different outfits. You could wear this with a bikini as like a cover up. You could completely dress this up, which I'm going to do today. There's so many ways to Hard at work. I'm gonna send 
after an invoice, you know that. <laughs> always and always. <laughs> This is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. It's a good day to day and not tomorrow. There's no time to borrow today. Well, something's gotta give today. It's a good day today. It's a good. Good morning, Leafies! I got ready this morning using a few of the Revlon products that I got at the event yesterday. Um, I was in a meeting, so I couldn't really like talk to you. But run, don't walk, run, get that concealer. Oh my goodness! I feel like I love it so much. I know that I loved the like older color stay like the og one but this is amazing the applicator i tried to like show you a little clip of it <gasps> the applicator i kind of used it to blend a little bit and i only have like concealer on today a little bit of blush i use that mascara i have a bit of eyelash extensions left still but Mascara is good. I used the Rose Glow. Remember a couple of months ago they launched a Rose Glow primer. They have the mist now. I would say be a bit careful with it because it does give you like a glow. It has some sort of like hydrating substance to it it's not just like a water it is like a glow mist like it gives you glow um but i love it it blended the concealer so nicely and like just everything i feel like it looks so nice i don't know i literally just have concealer on today and like a little bit of blush and like just a bit of gloss and i also did something different with my hair because my hair is actually dirty and we have quite a bit going on today the 
busiest day ever i have so much work to do it it also looks like it's gonna rain i really hope that it doesn't because i'm actually at the new house and sitting in the car in the garage um we have like a gardening team here Bren's mom actually gifted us like a housewarming present and she is redoing like our garden and she heard me talking about it the other day and i said like i want this and i want this and i want to do like you know gardening and everything and then she said that she knows someone that does her gardening and she organized it the lady came out and i told her what i wanted and then boom, she she's here and it's happening so i'm very thankful for that and just i feel so spoiled because <laughs> it's one thing that we haven't like pl really planned ourselves or obviously like paid for ourselves um so that's really really nice to have them do that for us so i i was thinking of showing you like bits of before i'm not entirely sure what they will do today if they will finish today but i will keep you updated i'm gonna take you outside i'm wearing a very like very boring athleisure vibe today and i said i did this with my hair so easy i tried to like show you but i literally just washed this bit and then like did my dyson air up you can do a hair dryer like a curling iron and um yeah i think i feel a bit more put together than just having a bun or whatever and i have a little bit of makeup on but i'm gonna stop talking and take you to the garden and show you like the before and the process of today if you look close you see the lilies dance and how they slowly I'm counting years as they go by Now all the lilies gone and aces brought to life it's perfect if anything goes wrong I redo it and especially with this home renovation do I have high expectations or are people just so used to just like getting the job done just for the sake of getting it done oh, I, there's like a few people that I've obviously met along the line that are perfectionists but majority of the time I just feel like with everything I have such an expectation and an idea of what it's gonna turn out to be like and then when it comes I'm like meh it's a new daily fees and I'm feeling much better <laughs> after my stories in case any of you wondering what it was about because I got so many messages asking like oh my goodness is it about the kitchen like no it can't be no it's not luckily it's not the kitchen looks perfect so far and i can't wait to share like that vlog with you i have my tea and i have a really huge you can't really see the whole thing but i have an unboxing that i wanted to share with you but before we do that i'm gonna take a sip of my tea i thought i would share um like a heart to heart i don't know sometimes i feel so alone with the way I am, um, the way I look at life, the way I look at things, um, the way I work. <laughs> I feel like there isn't a lot of people like me, but when I post about things and when I open my heart and I see your messages, I soon realize that there is quite a few of you that are similar. So. I feel like we can <laughs> we can be there for each other and I know that we are there for each other I just sometimes I just feel so alone um, with how high my expectations are for certain things and I think it's because um, that's the way I am like I put my heart and my soul into everything and um, in case you're wondering <laughs> 
what my mini rant was about i don't like ranting i wouldn't say that i ever like rant but sometimes it's just good to like talk about things you know and just like get it out um but yeah nothing about the kitchen it is unfortunately about the garden that we did in this vlog i was so excited about the garden and i had an exact vision and plans for this garden i even sent over pictures like exact pictures to the lady that did it and um i felt that i expressed my expectations quite well um but where it got a little bit tricky um and especially with the end result was the fact that it's obviously a gift so it is something quite special and sentimental so um i'm not going to take it out or like change it or anything like that it doesn't look um terrible <laughs> it's just not um what i expected obviously when i voiced my expectations and what i wanted i wanted very simple like white iceberg roses but i wanted like fully grown plants or fully grown rose trees and um i got like little babies they need to obviously grow which i think will be an amazing experience regardless um, and it can kind of grow with the house I guess but it's not what I expected and yeah I've, I think with this whole renovation I've learned quite a bit about myself and I've learned to not lower my expectations because for a second I definitely like told myself in the car as I was sitting like thinking to myself I was like oh, obviously <laughs> um you need to lower your expectations but after speaking to so many of you um it's obviously not a good idea because it's the way i am um it's just having that sense of expecting or not being too upset when there is a slight differ in the expectation or like the result um so i've definitely learned quite a bit about myself about the industry about um just like everything um so yeah it's not entirely what i expected um i will try and show you like in the next few vlogs as we finish off the house i need to like water it every single day i did however ask the lady to come back and just add like a couple more things but i'm just so grateful for this gift regardless like brain's mom and just brain's family in general they are so incredible so incredibly supportive and it just means a lot to me that they wanted to do this special thing for us and it's almost like a little bit of a sentimental element to the house now and i'm excited for the garden to grow um it can grow like over all of my <laughs> disappoint disappointments that i've had with this house but you know, I've learned that not everyone is the same like my best is not someone else's best and like we can't compare um, workmanship and um, level of effort because we're not the same like everyone is different um, so yeah literally just learning about myself learning about other people learning about the whole experience of renovating and just um, sharing it with you and hopefully you enjoy coming along i can't wait to show you how the garden grows and show you how everything comes together i um have been filming some stuff at the house and i need to do um more filming i have this massive look at this probably the biggest pr drop that i've ever received you have no idea how heavy this is so shall we unbox it together i haven't looked at it and with this campaign you can win all of this how crazy so definitely head to my instagram oh my gosh this is heavenly excuse the pun <laughs> look at all of these products oh my goodness so oh so heavenly turns 20 leafies oh my goodness look at all of these products 
Oh my gosh. I have to save this bubble wrap for when we move. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down in life, you know. Breathing out air for a minute. Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose-colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Lay low in the beach in your sun Put your rose-colored glasses on Yeah, yeah Put your rose-colored glasses on Yeah, yeah, yeah It's an enemy crime To get a little lost in everybody's bed why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Okay, Lippies, I am kind of in the middle of prepping dinner, finishing off content, trying to like get this vlog up for you. So I'm going to wrap it up and I wanted to thank you for watching. Everything truly is just coming along and just requires a lot and a lot of patience so thank you for being patient with me it's gonna look so beautiful in the end and i can't wait to like share the grand reveal with you but also so excited to just continue the whole journey everything just you know every single vlog just means a step closer to that final result so thank you so much for supporting me and for all of your like kind words of encouragement and just for making me feel like I'm not alone. I appreciate you all so so much and I hope to see you in the next vlog. Mwah! Bye Libby. Don't leave the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering her face. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies.